Hello there, Eruner here, and today we will make a tier list of the best long range missile units in the Troy. We are starting with Ethiopia and Elamite Slingers. They are pretty pretty good, they have very nice 190 range and good damage. So Ethiopia is surprising us with very good slings. Next we got archived uh, slings or armored archive slings. They have 185 range. They are very good at dueling with other missile units. So they are above the average tier. Then we got Dardania with their uh, slingers. Uh, they are quite average, 180 range, a lot of models to compensate their weaker projectiles. So for now they are solid average tier. Then we have Hector with the renowned archers. Hector does not have very good range, uh, 160 range, he will be out range by all other missiles and I really think it's on the lower spectrum and later you will see why. Then we have Hippolyta with slightly more range. Uh, the followers of Artemis have very nice damage even though they do not have enough models and one ability uh, the volley is able to give them 200 range. So technically uh, followers of Artemis are able to outrange every missile unit in the game. But such ability is uh, having terrible accuracy. So I would keep the Hippolyta here in below average tier. Then we got Ithaca with Renowned Armored Slings, they are pretty standard solid uh, slings with 180 range and pretty good uh, projectiles. So next one is Lycia, they don't have uh, good slings and their long range is Armored Lycian Archers. Uh, they are similar to other archers. Uh, their armor and models and 170 range makes them below average tier. Then we got Mycenae. Uh, Mycenae does not have access to uh, armored slings, uh, they just have the renowned slings, which are almost the same, but they have weaker projectiles. So that's why the Mycenae is slightly underperforming on the a long range category. Then we got Faris. Uh, Trojan Princess have 180 range, very nice damage. They also have access to the Trojan Slingers or exemplary to Trojan Slingers, which have also 190 range. And Faris is a very good long range faction in general. Then we got Penthesilea. They got access only to shielded stone slingers, which are similar to the renowned slings, weak projectiles, but they still have 180 range. So uh, that makes them into the uh, below average tier. Taya is having the renowned armored slings, which are same as Ithaca. Then we got Salamis, they got veteran Locrian slingers. I think they are the best slingers in the game with amazing 190 range and pretty good damage. Also, Salamis can have access to the Loyal Chromis, which is a variant or the paragon uh, like the Trojan Princess. And you can have only one of such unit. So Salamis is definitely a top tier in long range category. 
Sparta is next and they got access to renowned armored slingers as well. So they, that will make them in average category. The last is Trace. Sadly, Trace does not have a good long range. They don't have slings. They have only 160 range, which makes them very similar or almost almost same as Hector's renowned archers. So now just quickly review this faction. In the top long range category, we got Paris and Salamis. Some of you might be thinking the Salamis is better because of the slings. And maybe somebody will say that Paris is better because of the archer and the damage. So I will leave uh, this tier to you. Then we got above average tier. Elamid Stone Slingers have more range, definitely, than Ergive's Air Armored Slings. So Ethiopia is slightly better on it. On the average tier, uh, the renowned armor slings are pretty solid and Dardania is having slightly cheaper and weaker slings compared to them. So they will move back to the last place of the average tier. Then in Bell of Average tier, I would say that uh, the slingers have bigger range than remaining uh, units. Also the Shielded Soul Slingers, they have 180 range. And then we got two Archer units, which are comparable. And I would say Hippolyta is slightly better because how fast, how good damage they deal, and how better it is to use. And in the last year, yeah, Hector is having slightly better archers you will bring renowned archers to battle while in trace you are not going to use missiles at all so that would be it if you have any comments please write them down below and that is all see you later